previous tutorial was crude operation in ASP.NET and C sharp link in the description box below and I'm gonna insert one more record to show that the previous tutorial was is working fine yes the record is inserted successfully this tutorial I will show delete multiple selected row from database using grid view in ASP.NET and C sharp ok now I'm gonna add in checkbox in that case first of all add column in this column add ASP template field and under this template field add item template ok now just uh, drag the checkbox from the toolbox and drop it in the item template yes checkbox is added change the id of this checkbox checkbox id is chk select ok the checkbox is added in the grid view now add a button control to delete multiple selected row yes button control is added change the event of this button yes double click yes button 6 click event is added now change the text of this button button text will be delete ok now write code to delete multiple record from grid view in asp.net c sharp first of all i am declaring a variable student id integer type now adding for loop for integer i equal to 0 i less than grid view on dot rows dot count i plus plus ok now declare checkbox checkbox csk select equal to checkbox grid view one dot rows i i is the index of the row dot find control find control my control text checkbox checkbox name is because the chores yes checkbox id is chk select so for the csk select as control okay it's done now if csk select dot checked equal to true i mean which uh, row you will select th that row will be deleted after clicking the delete button button 6 ok now sql command My sql command is to delete record from the database so same equal to new sql command uh, delete student uh, info underscore tab this is the table name let's check yes table name is student info tab and id is student id primary key i will delete based on id i will delete the record based on id so higher adding higher close higher student id equal to single quotation double quotation then plus sign then variable student id oh first of all i have to uh, student id in the variable student id okay student id equal to convert dot to integer 32 grid beyond dot rows rows uh, in uh, i i is the index row index and uh, dot cell 1 index start from 0 in c sharp so uh, student id is in the second index so 101 one. okay now initialize the connection string connection string con let's check the connection string yes this is my connection string you can see sql connection con and this is the server name and database name programming db ok now connection string is con copy this con and paste it in the initialize section ok initialize done con now command execute this command cmd dot execute non query adding method to reload data in grid view while load student so sql command cmd equal to new sql command this uh, is to select all the record to load all the record in grid view so select start from student info tab and initialize the connection string con ok now as sql data adapter d equal to new sql data adapter in this sql data adapter call the cmd command sql command now declare data table data table dt equal to new data table now i am gonna load the data in this dt so d dot fill dt finally load the dt in the grid view on so grid view on dot data source equal to dt 
and then give you on the data range okay it's done now my method is ready I will call this method and the button click event so copy this method and paste it in the button click event after the loop okay it's done see that this is the loop uh, for loop and I just for this method after the loop okay now right click and view in browser yes delete or oh, the current state is uh, connections current state is closed uh, must open the connection to perform delete operation that case just open the connection con dot open for con dot open before the SQL command and after the execution close the connection con dot close okay it's done now right click and view in browser okay delete 104 record yes 104 record is deleted successfully now I'm gonna answer, delete two more records 102 and 105 just click on delete it's uh, deleted 102 and 105 records and the records also removed from the dead grid view one now I'm gonna add uh, header checkbox in that case before the item template and into the sp template field add a header template and into the header template add a header checkbox so in this header template just to drag the checkbox change the id of this checkbox id is check select all and auto force back true yes now move this checkbox out of grid view to generate a click event so just to double click to this checkbox to generate click event yes it's generated now move this checkbox uh, to the header template again yes it's done and the check select check changed event also created now write code to select all the record all the checkbox by clicking the bool is select equal to first break checkbox then did beyond dot header row dot find control first break double quotation then uh, copy this id of this header checkbox id check select all and double quotation then check select all dot checked or oh. add fast break before the checkbox yes now dot checked yes i just declare this checkbox as boolean type now for loop for integer i equal to zero i less than give one dot rows dot count i mean it will count the all row and then i plus plus okay now if is select is select is the header checkbox is if header checkbox equal to true then it will select all the checkbox in the body so uh could be a checkbox could be on dot rows dot find control rows index is i and find control control is the checkbox item template checkbox item template checkbox id is csk select so just copy this uh, id csk select and paste it in the find control okay dot check equal to true if you select the header checkbox and it will check all the checkbox in the item template in body and then if it's false then it will be false it will deselect now go to view in browser let's check it's working or not yes it's working fine if you select it select all if you deselect it's deselected all now insert one more record yes successfully inserted uh, 102 record yes you can see it's working fine select all or deselect all if you click delete it's deleted all the records successfully select the button and uh, change the text of this button delete to delete all yes uh, this is this button delete all yes it's displaying perfectly now i'm gonna add uh, confirm masses to perform delete operation so in this one client click just to write return confirm fast break and then single quotation then just uh, put your masses are you sure to delete and after that semicolon after the break semicolon it's done now see that uh, uh, it's uh, added on client click return confirm are you sure to delete okay view in browser now if you want to delete a record it will display this message
click are you sure to delete yes if you click ok and then it will delete the records if you click uh, cancel it will not delete the records uh, from the database don't delegate view okay click ok yes successfully deleted